Welcome back to Miles Around. For our first in the driver's seat, we're going to take a look at this. It's the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. Now, are you at all inquisitive about where the Jeep name came from? Well, you're going to have to sit through this anyway. The Jeep name came from the original prototype, which was called the General Purpose Vehicle. Now, the General Purpose Vehicle, well, you have a couple of beers and it could be slurred into GP and then possibly Jeep. But enough with all of that. Dennis, tell us about something we care about. Well, if you care about performance, this is the vehicle for you. It has nothing to do with the original General Purpose Vehicle. It has to do more with the rich heritage of performance that comes from Dodge, which is now, of course, has encompassed into the Jeep platform. Now, the Grand Cherokee's always been a great vehicle, but when you toss in a 6.1 liter Hemi, big tires and wheels, big brakes, and lots of attitude, this is what you get. Now we're gonna take a look inside, take a look at some of the performance numbers, but first, let's take a look under the hood. Now we have the hood open, you can see underneath it's a 6.1 liter Hemi engine. And I don't know if you remember, we had a chance recently to test the Smart Car. And as you remember, the Smart Car had less than a liter in its engine. Now, I can tell you, this is seven Smart Car engines wrapped into a whole beautiful engine here. Well, I'd rather have one SRT8 Jeep Grand Cherokee than seven Smart Cars. Now, the Smart Cars were great for mileage, but I'm a little bit of a performance nut. Now, when you're talking about numbers on this Jeep, 420 horsepower, 420 pounds-feet of torque. Let's talk some other numbers. 255 millimeter wide tires in the front, 285 in the back. The all-wheel drive system, I mean, you give this thing the goose and it goes zero to 60 in less than five seconds. And it can go zero to 100 and back to zero in less than 20. That's courtesy of the big Brembo brakes and the giant disc rotors all the way around. You're talking about performance, you can even go a little crazy, it's just a checkbook away. Hennessy actually makes one of these with over a thousand horsepower. For me, I think 420 would do just fine. When you take a look around the 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8, I mean, it's everything about it is just bad. I mean, it's got attitude from front to back, from the big front balance with lots of muscle, the 20 inch wheels I talked about, they have SRT in the actual spoke. I mean, everything about this vehicle screams attitude and screams performance, from the black shiny paint to the attitude that flows down the vehicle, lack of chrome, everything but this nice little strip right here on the door, kind of makes it look sleek and narrow, the lack of a roof rack, also keeps the profile of the vehicle down and of course it does sit lower than some of the other Cherokees in the lineup. See black tinted windows at the back end, you also see these hips, that square, that solid, that scary and probably the best designed tailpipe I've ever seen on an SUV. <laughs> Now that we're going to take a look on the inside of the SRT8 Jeep, I have to mention a couple things. One is the Boston Acoustic Supplied Audio System, which has great clarity and great power if you want it, if you're looking for that real deep bass sound. The other is the supportive front bucket seats. They have a nice SRT only stitching and they have a nice supportive back, a lot of lateral support to keep you in the seat when you're cornering. The other is this. Auto start on the key. I mean, it already has the bad attitude, it already has the black paint, but how nice is it to just grab the key and start the car in the driveway and listen to that great exhaust? However, there is one downside, and I think you're gonna get to that. Yeah, I, I hate to be a complainer, Dennis, but it's kind of tight here in the back seat. One of the things I do like about it is, like Land Rover, the back seat is what they call stadium seating, and it's raised. You can actually see above the headrest in front of you and above the, above the driver's head. Although, here in the back, very tight and I would say if I was any taller than five foot four I might have trouble getting in here. There's a couple of things I want to make sure I mention before we get to the ups and downs of this SRT8 Jeep. One is the rain sensing wipers. The other is the auto systems that they have for ingress and egress or getting in and out of the vehicle to make it comfortable for the bigger guy that might want to sit in this vehicle. And the other is this, obviously the auto start. And I'm going to give that a try and see if it'll happen. But a couple pops on this and bang. Hemi Power. I know I mentioned it already, but I'm telling you, there's nothing better than being able to auto start your car with the air conditioning on on a hot day. For me, as far as performance vehicles goes, when you blend it with the utility, though somewhat small in the back, it, it's the ability to get everything you want if you're a performance minded buyer and you can get it right here. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we've come to the part of the show, Dennis, where I have to ask you what your two ups are for this vehicle. Well, the first one easy, it's the power. 420 horsepower and 420 pounds feet of torque. How can you go wrong? The other side of that is more performance. The brakes, the suspension, it's all set up to really give you that that hot rod experience, but that comes to my downside. It's a little brutish to live with on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, is it fun? Yes. For the performance guy who's not only a Jeep fan, but a Dodge fan, it's made in heaven. I mean, all the things that come together that, to give you that experience are there. But I'm stuck in a car six, maybe even 700 miles sometimes a week. That can get a little tedious with tire roar and that stiff suspension. So for me, I don't know about it being a daily driver. It might be akin to having that 68 Chevelle as a hot rod and you drive it to work every day. Now for me, my two ups are the outside styling. I've never seen anything quite as great as this in any vehicle whatsoever. In fact, if I was to take a general sort of Jeep Cherokee and I was to take it into a shop, this is pretty much what I'd have done to it. The other thing about it is too when you drive this vehicle it's got all that horsepower and it's got all that muscle underneath the hood and it's still really easy to drive and easy to corner the inside for me is where my down comes it's meaty on the outside but it's also meaty on the inside and when I buy a car like this kind of similar to what you're saying is I want more luxury and I say more technology on the inside The 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8 comes standard with a 6.1 liter Hemi and a 5-speed automatic transmission. Its base price is $40,105 with an as-tested price of $43,695 total. The city EPA rating is 12 miles per gallon and the highway EPA rating is 15 miles per gallon. Here are the guys that make miles around possible. The Russ Auto Group, Baxter Auto Parts, Northside Ford, Ray Reese Dealerships, Four Wheel Parts Performance Center, Grand Prix Imports, and Jay Lee's Auto Group. Thanks guys.